was managing the farm for ASUBB and we really wanted to strike out on our own and farm on our own. And uh, we ended up finding this place, which is home for me. I grew up a mile from here. And I knew the only way we was gonna make it was to have broiler houses. So I was looking for a broiler farm along with the cattle. And we found this place right next to home and it just worked out perfect for us. My family's been farming their whole life. We started the registered Hereford business in 1936, but farmed well before that. So I've been in it my whole life. I did not grow up on a farm. Um, didn't really know much about farming, ranching, livestock until I went to college at ASUBB and met a farm manager I fell in love with and fell in love with animal science and cattle. We have six 40 by 500 broiler houses. We raise 60 head of commercial mama cows and we also have 30 head of registered Hereford mama cows. Well, as young and beginning farmers, it's really tough to get a loan to just be a cattle farmer. It takes a lot of capital to start out and we had none. And uh, the thing with the chickens is it really helped, uh, helped it cash flow and give us a basis to, to work off of to do the cattle. Our first love's the cattle, but the chickens have really helped make, make that possible. They go hand in hand, they really do. Yeah. I told him from the get go, if he would do the daily chicken work, that I would take care of the cows. I put out all the hay in the winter. I run the hay baler in the summer until he gets done with chickens and check them, rotate them, pastures and everything. And I help him when he needs it in the chicken houses on set up, dump chickens, catch type things. But I leave the daily work to him. <laughs> We've got two boys, uh, Braylon is seven and Will Willie Dan is four. And I wouldn't want to raise them any other way than on the farm. They, they learn a lot from a young age, whether it's hard work or um, tragic events that happen, just everything in life. And it really teaches them great lessons on the farm. Yeah, that's, there's, there's so much that I did you know, with my dad and grandpa, so getting to do that with my sons and them doing it with my dad, that's, that means a lot. I would love to expand some more, but I want to stay efficient, not expand so big where I can't, can't be efficient in it. Uh, obviously, I hope, uh, I hope the boys will want to stay around and work on it. If not, that's, that's fine too. I want them to go after what they're passionate about, but I would love to, uh, really transition more into the registered business. I'd love to be able to sell 50 registered bulls a year and even have a production sale for our cattle and, and uh, our farm.